still what must be regarded as the early stages of this race and it's all changed as we come up to this first pit stop and he's going to have another go he's chasing hard after the Jaguar he should not have the horsepower to do this on the straight still up the front it's the Mercedes train rolling on Maro Baldi must be heading now towards his early pit stop Jochen Maas behind him just biding his time very shortly will come his opportunity to control this race from the front it's Mercedes from Mercedes, then the Porsche, then the Jaguar, then the Spice, then the Jaguar. And still the excitement continues. Mercedes looking a little bit slow there. Jochen Maas actually looking down the inside there, but he knows his moment is now because in the pits, the crew are waiting for car number 61 to come in. And there he goes, taking the inside line for the pit road diving in and Jochen Maas takes over the lead it's still Mercedes out in front but Maro Baldi goes into the pits pulling in fuel tires and driver change it has to be said that the tires have lasted very very well everybody expected them to go off earlier than this everybody expected the Mercedes handling to start going off and everybody expected to begin reeling in the silver arrows as the race progressed but it simply hasn't happened Jochen Maas has stayed out, he's planning three pit stops and hopefully his tyres will hang together. Maro Baldi and Kenny Atchison, running, don't forget, with the carbon fibre brakes, decided to come in early and change one more time during the race. It was planned to do one short stint, 35 laps. Even though the Mercedes are leading the race, one, two, you're still banging into each other. Why, why are they racing between you? No, we were leading. I was leading and I had some problem of oversteer and anyway I thought I could pull away but the rear left tire was too much and it was maybe too much heat and so it was like this. Can you keep this pace up for the next three hours maybe? Yeah, I think so. Maro Baldi looking relaxed and confident as perhaps Mercedes have a right to after their win in the 24 hours. Out on the track it's still the Silver Arrows in front. Jochen Maas leads the way. Behind him comes the Porsche of Oscar Larari and then comes the Jaguar of John Nielsen who has taken the lead of the Jaguar pairing when they were split by the spice of Tokyo Turing which holds fourth place just ahead of Jan Lammers. Then it's the Toyota of Johnny Dumfries then comes car number 61 rejoining in seventh place that's Kenny Atchison at the controls and then Ray Bellum and meanwhile Oscar Larrauri comes in and you can see the evidence on the front of that car of that little coming together he had with the back of the Jaguar several laps ago that's going to delay things in the pits for Jesus Perea who now takes over the driving chore and Jesus is suffering from a complaint which is politely known as gastric flu which may either severely curtail the length of time he's out on the track or encourage him to set record lap times on his way back to the pits.